It's a good game. But again, you know, it's just like all the other games. You know, whatever's happened, happened. Um, we're going to be better for it. We got a chance to win a game. You know what I mean? So, regardless of, you know, what's happened, we still had ourselves a chance to win a game. And all we really needed to do was make one play at some point. You know, make a play in the third down, make a play in the red zone, make a play in the fourth down. Uh, at one other point in the game, and we, and we win the game. So, I mean, that's, what we're, that's what we're striving for. I, you know, Again, it's, it's always hard to see. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I know I know who we're playing. I know who we're playing with. I know what they're capable of. Who's getting better? Who's not? They did a lot of things better the other day. There was a certain amount of minutes in the game where we gave up some free plays. We gave up two big strikes, and we gave up two, two touchdowns at the end of each half. So you're talking about seven minutes in the game that really was, was 28 points. You know? And that's and then we, you know so we just we just have to you know we have to eliminate those key those key times when we're making those critical errors. Uh, you know, again, it's it's right now it's it's a unit, and and uh, when we're giving up when we're giving up some plays, or we're not coming up with the stops that we have to stop, it's it's generally somebody not doing their job. You know what I mean? And, uh, so we all got to do better. You know, we got to keep coaching them up better. Okay, we got to try to put them in the best defenses that we can, and players have to you know they have to respond and do their job. So we're gonna play with that. We put it on. Uh, you got Darius Smith. Uh, any news? Some of the group. I think I think he played pretty good. Well, Darius played. Showed up. I mean, if you know if you watch the game, you'd see him. You see him showed up. He split a double team. He did some things on movement where he was in there, and you know he played better. So uh, for a guy who's played his fifth college football game, uh, he's improved. Coach Golden said he thinks you guys need to score 30 points in offense to win. I mean, as a defense coordinator, that's got to be a little tough to hear. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, uh, you know, uh, obviously the you know, defenses that, that we had at Temple, it was it was the other way around. You know, we were giving up. Uh, you know, we were, we were winning games 14-10, or we were losing games 10-7 or 7-3, and, and uh, you know, from our standpoint, it was always we're going we're to outplay the other team's defense. You know, so, but you know, the situation we're in right now is again, there's no, there's no excuses, and, and you know, I, all I can say is the guys have been resilient. Uh, you know, they just practiced their, their rear ends off. You know, and they're coming out here and they're preparing and doing everything that we're asking them to do. Just, we've played 28 guys on defense this year. We've played 28 different guys in the 2D that help all play in five games. 28 guys. Um, we're going to be better for them. So you know, I'm, not, I'm not losing my patience. So I'm not, you know, I want to win now, I want to win this week. And, and, and you know, I didn't like the way I felt after the, after the game. But, uh, you know, we're moving our team forward. You know what I mean? We're not just sitting here losing with you know, 12 guys playing in a game and 13 guys. And all of a sudden you say, what are you going to do? The next guy goes down. We're, we're, you know, guys are going down, and, and we're having guys ready to replace them and having a plenty. You know, whether those guys have played a lot, they're getting an experience on the job, and they're getting better. So we'll just, keep, we'll just keep playing. The, uh, the perception, and, uh, I don't know if this is going wrong, is that you know, really just okay. bringing four guys, and, yeah, and you know, the corners are kind of playing off the receivers. What you're doing scheme wise, is that the nature of just because of what you have personnel wise, depth wise, and experience? Yeah, a lot, a lot of it's everything. I mean, you know, again, we're not, I'm not. We're not running. We're not running every game. We have had a package. You know, I mean, you know, again, what we did at Temple was over a five-year period. You know, in, in my last two years there, I had, I had you know, five senior starters and I think six senior starters. The next year, we've been in the system for four years. So you know, there's a buildup. There's a buildup, and, and right now we haven't been able to hit that buildup because we've really never had the same lineup. You know, so all of a sudden you plug new guys in. You know, even third down last week, we had four new guys on our third down package because. Uh, Buck got hurt, Forston got hurt, then a Jomo got hurt, Ray came back in and we moved Joe to the corner. So you have know, four new guys playing on third down, which is critical down, but it is it is what it is. So we'll be better for it this week. What are the what are so the, I have to be limited in that regard. Yeah, what are the dangers if you start let's say or playing more aggressive, playing bump and run, you know, what, what can what can be some of the ills with that? Well again, you know, we're going to play bump and run, we play bump and run and we give up sixty yard touchdown. <laughs> so so it's like, you know, the, the four the four plays before preceding that where we were bumped and we had a, we had an out number box and they ran the ball, we stopped them for small games. You know, they hit us on a play that they shouldn't hit on us and it's post coverage. We should have a player back in the post. But you know, again it's it's all it all depends on down and distance and it all depends on, on the point in the game. You know, at the end of the game, uh, the bottom line is we we had a four point lead. So if I'm playing bump and run, why would I want why would I want to do that and just give up an easy touchdown? I need I need I needed somebody to make the play. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we needed, we needed you know, somebody to make a play. We needed, to, we needed to get a better pass rush. We needed to do something. We needed to see the ball thrown. We, we let him off the hook a couple times. We, the the play, we let him off the hook. We let him out of the pocket. We had a chance to sack him from the backside, and we let him out of the pocket. So that's what we're looking for, really, for somebody to step up and make a play and not, and not make it a one-on-one -on -one game in the last three minutes. I know Ray Ray maybe didn't have his best game. Do you expect him to really go you know, increase from game one to game two? I'll see. Oh, yeah, I hope so. I'll I mean, that's, that's the expectation on all these guys. So, uh, you know, he, he, 
made he made some plays in the game that he, you know that we need to correct. Out and, did, and uh, you know we support him fully and uh, there's no finger pointing or nothing like that. We just keep coaching him up and, and uh, he's had a good attitude. And, uh, he knows what he's got to do. And he'll continue to play better. Last question for Coach. Which facet of the North Carolina offense are you looking to isolate and go after in this game? Oh, they're they're a good football team. They have a big big 